Well, welcome to Weekly Wisdom. Uh, we're continuing on through the book of Proverbs, and today, here's the invitation. Guard your feet. Watch where your feet take you, because there's incredible power if you can stop yourself from going to a certain place, or if you start walking a certain path, what happens when you find yourself in that location. The passage is Proverbs 4, 26 and 27. Listen to these words. This is God's word. Give careful thought to the paths for your feet, and be steadfast in all your ways. Do not turn to the right or to the left. Keep your foot from evil. You think, well, how much trouble can my feet get into? What can my, my feet aren't really involved in a whole lot of sin. Oh, no, but they can take you to a lot of places where your eyes shouldn't go, your heart shouldn't go, your mind shouldn't go. And if you can keep yourself from going certain places, you can keep yourself from doing certain things. Think about a grocery store. You walk down certain aisles, and there's an aisle that says candy and cookies. And I mean, in our world today, in the United States, there can be an entire aisle that that's all it is. If you turn down that aisle, if you let your feet turn you down that aisle, the odds of you getting to the end of that aisle and not grabbing something that you really think you shouldn't be having are pretty slim. But if you let your feet keep you walking right past that aisle, hopefully out of sight, out of mind, and you move on. Our feet can take us places that cause all kinds of problems. So here's the invitation to think to yourself, what are the paths that I walk? Are there places I go? I'm talking physically now, that I walk to, that I drive to. Let's go beyond just walking, driving. Are there places that I go that aren't a place I should be? They cause problems in my life. Then don't let your feet take you there. Don't let your tools of transportation, your motorcycle, your, your moped, your car, anything, your scooter. The point is, don't find yourself there. Don't travel to that place because it then sets you up for the very thing you don't want to do. Be careful. And then ask yourself, uh, when are you going certain places? There's places that actually certain times of the day aren't so bad. I was with my family one time uh, down in Mexico and down in, in the city area. In the daytime, it's kids are down there, families are down there. It's wonderful. Well, we went out to dinner one night in town and we were walking to our car and at nighttime, the uh, scantily clad women uh, are on the streets inviting people into certain, certain places. I'm with my wife and my three sons. And I think my sons were probably about 15, 13, and 11. And this guy says, come on and see the show. Come on and see the show. And I said, I said, I have three kids with me. He says, it's a family show. And I'm thinking, no, it's not. <laughs> it's not a family show. But, but at nighttime, things change. So, so, okay, downtown Cabo San Lucas in the daytime. Okay for the family. Downtown Cabo San Lucas at nighttime. Probably not a great place for almost anybody, but certainly not for me and my family. So watch where you go. Watch when you go there. And then ask yourself this question. What paths does God call me to walk? Make sure you're following the paths that God has for you. You say, Lord, is this a path to walk? Is this a place you want me to go? Something you want me to do? And ask God to guide your steps and direct you where you're going. And, and I would encourage you to examine where you go, where your feet take you, and let God's word speak to you. Give careful thought to the paths for your feet and be steadfast in all your ways. And here's the key. Do not turn to the right or to the left, but keep your foot from evil. If you know this way and this way aren't the right way, then keep your path, your feet on the path going straight ahead and watch what God does. Let me pray and ask God to guide our steps in this coming week. Living Lord Jesus Christ, uh, there are so many enticements in our world. There are things all around us. There's, there's not a community in the world where there aren't things that we should avoid. We pray that you would guide our feet. Keep us from walking to the left and to the right where we shouldn't be. Keep us fixed on your path and keep our feet moving right ahead. And Lord, when we've wandered to the wrong places, we pray we can know that we can turn around and, and that, that biblical word, repent. Turn around and walk the other way. Turn the other way and get back on your path. Guide our feet. Protect our feet. And help us follow you at all times, Lord Jesus. We pray this in your name. Amen. Well, God's blessings on you. Have a great rest of your week. And if you're part of Shoreline Church, we'll hope to see you at 11 o'clock or 9 o'clock Sunday morning services or online. If you're part of another church, connect with your church family. God bless you. Have a great rest of the week.